Hi, I'm Bill Dusty, and in this video, I just wanted to show you an idea that I had about mounting a GoPro session on top of a uh, Phantom 3 standard. Now, as everyone knows, a Phantom comes with a camera already. It's mounted on the bottom here, and uh, it has a pretty good field of view. You can see forward. It has a, It's a wide-angle lens, so you can see little up in the field of view, a little down, and then when the camera goes down, you, you can, of course, see directly below it. But what you can't see on a Phantom and most other uh, quads is the field of view above or behind the uh, quad. So what I had in mind was actually taking a GoPro session and mounting it on top of the Phantom so that it could actually see right above. Now I'm kind of holding it here now because I, I got some sticky on here, but I've used it a few times so it doesn't really hold that well right now. Uh, however, uh, the idea is you can look right above you like that and angle around and see things that are above the quad instead of either in front of it, relatively speaking, or below it. Uh, now, when I tried this out, I took this out to the field and I tried it out. And uh, what I did is I used some uh, duct tape, actually, and I stuck it on there to reinforce the hold. Uh, and I would advise you do the same. Now, uh, one of the key things you want to do when you do mount a GoPro onto your uh, Phantom is make sure that it's in the center and that your blades, bring your blades right, your props right up to it and... Uh, make sure there's no interference there. And uh, as I was about to say, I took this out into the field and I flew it around uh, for about two batteries worth of flight time, about 40 minutes or so. And uh, I didn't uh, encounter any uh, uh, bad maneuvering problems or any issues with uh, the uh, center of gravity or anything like that. It, it flew really well. I didn't notice anything unusual about its flight. Now. That being said, it was a great day. There was little to no breeze or wind, so there was no real reason for this to interfere with its uh, flight in the air. So, you know, if, if there's a wind out, I would not advise doing this. You should always uh, uh, fly with caution. Uh, now, uh, a couple of other things uh, that I took into account, uh, one of which was, one was the, uh, uh, the center of gravity, which I, looked into and everything, as I said, was fine. Another thing that I was concerned about was the GPS, because the GPS module on a Phantom is right below the top here, and uh, I wasn't sure how the reception would go with uh, this camera on top. However, throughout the flight, I would check the uh, GPS on the on a DJI GO app occasionally, and I was anywhere between 12 and 15 satellites, which is I think is really good and about about the average that I get whenever I fly in that particular field I was in. Okay, that being said, think about the reason why you would want to have a uh, camera on top your drone and that would be to look at, say you're uh, underneath an overpass and you have some uh, work to do there or you're in a building with a high ceiling and you have work to do there. The GPS is probably going to be either a very poor reception or no GPS at all. So you really do have to know how to uh, fly your drone really well. Uh, you know, I would advise making sure you're uh, well skilled in flying a drone without GPS stabilization before you attempt to use this uh, method here. And the third thing that I took note of is that a GoPro session comes with an app, of course, and you can use the app to take pictures and video and see what you're looking at and such. Well, you can't use the app for this and use the app for the Phantom 3 standard at the same time, of course. So you could do a couple of things. You can either have a friend with you who has a smartphone or a tablet with an app and he or she operates the GoPro, or if you're alone and you're on your own, uh, just use your, uh, your DJI Go app as usual and just manually turn on the, uh, the recording for the GoPro and then take off and uh, take care of business. Now, uh, I think if you put it like an 8 gigabyte micro SD card, you're going to be 
perfectly fine. I usually get about 20 minutes of video recording time, thereabouts, and you're only going to be flying this for about 20 minutes from the time you take off, get to your target, and then you're done with your job, whatever you're doing, and you come back. It's about 20 minutes, so 20, 25 minutes. So those three things, GPS, uh, center of gravity stabilization, and overall stabilization in the wind and breeze, and operating the uh, GoPro and your uh, Phantom 3 at the same time, you can pretty much manage all three of those pretty well. So uh, I just wanted to do a quick video and show you that there is some utility in this if you ever need to do any kind of work and you need to look above your drone. This is a doable option. And that's about it for this uh, short little video. I just wanted to show you real quick uh, this little idea that I had, and it uh, might come in handy for you. You know, who knows, if you ever need to see anything above you it's, uh, or even behind you, check that out. You can look behind you as well. So there you go. GoPro session on top of a Phantom 3 standard. I'm Bill Dusty. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.